Okay, so I have a problem, and I think many of many others have the same problem that I have. Okay, so the U.S. inflation rate is reported reportedly it's at seven point seven percent, and that's actually after going after coming down a little bit. So uh, many people think that it's actually higher than that, like you know ten to twenty percent, depending on which which area you're talking about. So you've got inflation that's eating your money at let's say seven to twenty percent a year and you have if you're like me you've got a bank account and you have payments that you have to make you've got to pay uh, credit card bills um, mortgages uh, maybe it's utilities or some other mortgages and in some cases they they're set up to be where you get a discount where it's automatically withdrawn so sometimes I, I put money at the beginning of the month and it sits there, you know, it sits there almost 30 days to the end of the month before it, it gets taken out. And that money, I'll show you what, what I'm currently using and, and how it compares to this 7 7 to 20% that we're losing. So right now I've got Capital One. Capital One, 360 checking. This used to be a high rate. Okay. You want to see what what kind of high rate I'm getting? 0.10%. So that money, this is actually higher than most retail banks like Chase and U.S. Bank and Wells Fargo. This used to be considered high, and it hasn't really it hasn't really moved up at all. And if anything, I think it's gone down. So their savings their savings rate, uh, if you just move it from another from one account to another. 3% annual percentage rate. So the difference between this and the savings is this is 30 times less. You're getting 30 times more return on your money with the savings account, but you can't make check payments with it. So you, you'd be stuck moving your, your money back and forth, and that's, that's a lot of work. Okay, so let's look at another one here. Marcus by Goldman Sachs. They don't have a checking account, but their savings account pays three percent. Okay, that's still way higher, you know, than than Capital One. Here's another one, Ally Bank, which is a popular bank. They're paying. Um, their online savings account is paying two point two point seven five percent. Guess what? Their checking account's paying. It's still going to be way less than that. Their checking account is paying, I believe it's 0.25, and some of them they're 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 hiding it now where you can't even really find it. Um, yeah, look at that. You can't even you can't even uh, really find it. But I I looked a little while earlier. It was point. There we go. The national average for this type of account is 0.21. Okay, point two. Here's what Bank of America and Chase are paying for their, their and th these are their savings accounts. It says here that Chase Chase Savings is paying 0.01%, Wells Fargo 0.01. That's ridiculous. Okay, so they're paying 0.25% on their checking account, which is a little bit better than uh, Capital One. And it's still like, it, what, what's the reason for this? Why do they have to pay so so much less just to handle? Like for me, it's only a, a few bills a month. So the money sits in there. They got to do a little bit more work to, to basically handle those three check payments or withdrawals. And they're paying that, that much less money. And then you've got that to compare against inflation, which is at least 7.7%. So... I'm looking for I'm looking to do something about it. I'm looking to change. I have found some better options out there. I have three three options that are better. So um, one that I found that's a little bit better is um, Charles Schwab. They recently they've had a pretty good checking account for travelers, and they have an account called a it's a high yield checking account and it used to be 
it used to be a little bit of a joke as far as high yield because it wasn't really high yield. But they gave you some other perks like unlimited ATM uh, fee refunds. But now they've upped their interest rate on their checking account. They're paying 0.4%. So that's four four times greater than uh, than what, what Capital One 360 is offering. And this is no month, no monthly minimums, no account fees. Um, so right, right off the bat, you're getting, you're getting the higher interest rate. You're also getting the uh, unlimited ATM fee refunds, and that's around the world. It's not just domestic ATMs. It's, it's you know, uh, you could be in the Philippines, you could be in Japan, and use the ATM fees use the ATM see right here no fee to use a Charles uh, Schwab ATM unlimited ATM fee rebates at, at any ATM so that could be any branded ATM you could be in the Philippines which is uh, mostly a cash society so they don't take credit cards so a lot of foreigners and travelers they use this Charles Schwab um, high yield checking account and rather than opening a, open a Filipino bank account, which is which is diff, difficult for a foreigner and, and probably not safe, and a lot more restrictions and not you know not as uh, as good as a U.S. bank. So you can keep your money in a the safety of a U.S. bank, get FDIC insurance like with Charles Schwab, and then when you need to take out some money to pay pay the the bills over there. You can use your Charles Schwab ATM card. Uh, go go to an ATM and and you get refunded the ATM fee, and it's an unlimited amount. So, not many accounts offer that kind of bonus. And uh, also, you've got no foreign transaction fees if you use the debit card, uh, bill pay, all that stuff. So that's that's a nice one. The the rate is still. It's still better than, than Charles Schwab. It still seems a little bit low when you consider how high inflation is. So I do have some other ones that I think may be better for that. So I have another one. I have an account with this company called NBKC with the credit card. This is the uh, Kansas City Bank. It's a smaller bank. And I got approved for a uh, Visa card. And they gave me a generous like a $25,000 credit line and I I'm I got I think 150 or $200 cash back. And that was that was a, a nice deal that I got with them. So so far I've been pretty happy with their their credit card. But um they're going through a third party. That's not really their their thing. But they do offer this NBKC everything account which offers a 1.01 a 1% return. 1% return and all you need is at least one cent or more and no no opening deposit. So that's you know much that's 10 times higher than what Capital One is offering. So that's a that's a nice little deal. And it is a smaller bank so I I haven't tried this one out. I'm not sure how how well their interface is. Usually the smaller banks have you know the interface is not as nice as something like Capital One or Discover or um Charles Schwab, but it would be something to try, you know, considering that they're paying 10 times as much. So you may want to look at that one. Another one that I found is called Sof Sophie or Sofi. And it's a, it looks really good at the surface when you actually click on the, uh, the link for the bank and it says new online bank account. Better banking is here with up to 3% annual percentage yield and no account fees okay now this right on the surface this looks like I'm it looks like you're gonna get three percent on your banking balance but this is actually uh, deceptive so right off the bat they're doing some sneaky stuff so there's a bonus with this one um, when you sign up and there's a, a lot of little hoops you have to jump through to get it. And this 3% isn't for the checking. It's for actually for savings. But they don't tell you that until you read the fine print. So, so far right off the bat, I don't like the bait and switch. This is sort of like, reminds me of Upgrade, which I had a, a bad experience with. So when we actually look at the details, 
Okay, so when you actually look at the fine details, I'll show it, it explains right here that looks looks are deceiving like it says right here so so fee members with direct deposit can earn up to 3% annual percentage yield on savings balances. So that's not checking, you know, it said checking all over that front page, but that's actually savings balance. So that shows the deception right there. Um, and 2.5% annual percentage yield on checking balances. Now that that's actually if you if you meet the direct deposit requirements. There's no minimum direct deposit required to qualify for the 3% savings and 2% for checking. But you have to, uh, if you don't meet the direct deposit requirements from a qualified employer or benefits company, then you only earn 1.2% annual percentage yield. So that's still higher than NBKC and uh, Charles Schwab. So you may want to look at at this as an option if you're sort of desperate for the high rate. But I have seen some sort of mixed reviews on the uh, if you look at the consumer affairs and some of these uh, websites where people complain that the interface was uh, not so good and they didn't like it. That it just sort of rubs me the wrong way when I see that kind of bait and switch, especially from a financial company. This isn't uh, you know YouTube title that's uh, a little bit deceptive to get traffic. This is a financial services company. Do you really want them to be deceptive and bait and switch right off the bat? So it, it sort of, their sign up form reminds me of Upgrade. So that, that's why I'm really hesitant to recommend this company. And I know there's a lot of people recommending this because they have an affiliate program. But um, I look at the reviews and for me, I, I would probably I would do the Charles Schwab no problem. I don't have any problem using them. I've used them with their brokerage account and uh, credit card, no problem. And I would probably do this NBKC next. And if you really want to, uh, if you want willing to take the chance with them with uh, a slightly higher rate, then maybe SoFi. But that's my uh, opinion so far. So, anyways, that's. Uh, that's my video for today. So if any of you like this video and you uh, want to help me out a little bit, uh, um, subscribe because I think I only have like two two subscribers that are people that I don't know. The rest of them I, I know. So it'd be nice to see see somebody subscribe, but see it actually somebody is watching. Anyways, have a good one.